this this morning. Amen. Amen. It's been a long week. Amen. 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 A long week, and it seems like it's getting longer. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank God for it.
tell you all the time we're not just a regular church, we're just not another entity, uh, but we're a kingdom builder. Amen. Amen. We don't have to get used to um, being who we are. Amen. Amen. Sometimes, sometimes people want to be somebody else. Sometimes they want to be around somebody else and want to act like somebody else. But, amen. You can only be who God called you amen. to be. Amen. Amen. You can't be nobody else. You can't, you can't act like them. You know, it's real strange. It's real strange when even when you get around other people and you try to be somebody else, you even feel funny to yourself. Amen. Amen. Right. You, you know, you feel kind of iffy. You know, you, you, you kind of second, start second guessing yourself trying to really figure out what do I do from here because this is not me. And and, and, and I tell most folks, if you just be you, amen, nobody can be you better than you. Amen. Amen. You can, you can always be you. And so when, when, I, when I looked at when I looked at the church and I looked at uh, what Christ was really asking his disciples, you know, he, he asked them, who do people say I am? They come up with all these names. Some say like, some say Jeremiah. You know, they talked about all these names. But, you know, when you, when you think about how people perceive you, people perceive you. And I said the other night that you have to impact those people that you're around. Amen. Amen. If, you, if you're living for Christ, you ought to impact the people that you are around. You ought to impact the people you are around. Amen. Uh, people should never impact you on what they're doing if it's not Christ. Amen. Amen. They, they, should never, they should never make you change things. You know, uh, uh, often, and I've said this too many times, that most ladies put clothes on that other people got on. They do things because they want to be like that person. Well, there's nothing wrong with you fashioning yourself uh, like somebody else with their clothes, their hair, whatever you're going to do. But make sure when you do it, it represents you. Amen. That made good sense, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Amen. Well, think about this now. Think about this. Christ wanted to know who the disciple that he had walked with followed him. Jack, you can't really, really talk about somebody you don't know. Amen. You know me, right? You, you, can't, you can't ever give a distinct definition of somebody that you really don't know. Amen. You know, I'm nosy someday. Mm. Just someday. But I watch stuff. Bitch, two bucks don't just pass me. Uh, I watch stuff. I, I, I know when people got lint on their clothes. Amen. Their hair not wear it. I know this stuff. I, I know this when the uh, Amen. I was with a man the other day. Y'all don't think funny of me. Y'all don't think funny of me. But I was with a guy the other morning, early morning, and he asked me to eat breakfast with him. We were we were signing some papers for some more stuff. And he asked me to eat breakfast with him, but he just didn't he just didn't look right to me. He didn't. It was something that and, and, and when we got to the baby, he said, you want to get some breakfast? I said, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't want any breakfast. I don't, I don't want breakfast. And, and, uh, he said, you're not going to eat? I said, no, I'm not going to eat. And, and what it was, it was nothing wrong with him per se, but what I was looking at, I couldn't set that aisle across the table from him and look at him because of the way, you know, it, it was, because I noticed so much about stuff. And when it don't just hit just right with me, I, I, I can't, something you can just, just look over. Okay. But most of the time, I can't look over stuff that just right there in your face. You know, it just, it just, and so if somebody asked me to describe him, I could describe him to a T because I was looking at him and I had everything there because I was watching where he was. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we miss stuff. Because we don't watch it long enough. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't have to, because it really don't mean as much to us as it means to another person. Now, Jesus asked his disciples, he said, who do you say that I am? What he really asked him was, he said, have you watched me long enough? Right. Have you studied me long enough? Have you walked in where I go, Lord? Have you seen the miracles in 
land and, and, they, and they said that if an American go to another land and they get in trouble, they can already come to the embassy and they're at home. They're in another land, but they're at home when they get to the embassy. When people are outside the ark of Christ and the church here is right here, they can always come in the house and feel safe in the house. But if you don't know the Christ that you keep talking about, they can't feel safety in the house. Because every other person that's in the embassy over in another land, they talk American. What do we talk when we get to the body of Christ? Amen. Because see, what we're trying to do, we're trying to build kingdom to where God is satisfied with our lives. Amen. Amen. We're trying to build a, 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 a persona around us to where when we get out among people, they don't make us be like them, but yet we make them be who we're called to be. We're called into ministry. We have to, we have to allow God, we have to allow God to do something different in our lives that nobody else can do. Amen. The other Sunday, the other Sunday, I'm trying to get used to these speakers, y'all, if I keep that. But the other Sunday, Adrian talked about, he sung about, bring back my glory. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. So bring, bring, bring back my glory. Bring, but, and I, and I, I kept looking at that. I, I kept looking at that. And glory in the Bible means a heaviness. All right. It's a weight. That, that's, that's what his glory is. Anytime you get into the glory of God, you feel a heaviness. There's a way. And the heaviness that, that most people talk about is a sadness. Well, the glory God talks about is not a sadness. What God does when his glory is here is give me a position to where I can talk into things that most folk can't talk into. What God said is when his glory is there, he gives me an authority. He gives me an authority of what because see what he does, he instills something in me. I'm talking about it. He, he, he put something down in me. And what he said was, he said he showed significance in my life. Amen. Now I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people, again, want to be like somebody else. They want to be, now, 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 this, I got a problem with this, y'all. There's a fly in here, y'all. He's a fly. He's trying to test me. Listen, listen, listen. listen. This, this, this bothers me. This really bothers me. Now, I'm not a woman. I ain't never want to be a woman. I never, 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 never want to be a woman. Bless the Lord. But I know that. I'm glad. But I know it's a lot of women change who they are for the man they want to be with. Oh, boy. Amen. Amen. He can't identify you. But yet, you can identify everything he wants you to do. Somebody asks you, so what, what are you doing, you don't, you don't like that. Okay. Well, can you come over here? And, no, he ain't going to let me do that. Where's he going? I'm going somewhere. All right, See, most, most people got it mixed up when it comes down to man being the head. And he is, he is his head. He, he's, the, he's the orator where God placed him as being authority in the house. But see, the only authority he has is to make sure the word of God is taken. When, when men take charge, and start governing your life as his life, then he becomes your dictator. Yes, sir. I don't know why God took me over this way, but I, 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 I just go away from it. Okay. He becomes your dictator. And he's not your, your husband, your man, your boy. He becomes your dictator. He's in charge of your life. You can't breathe if he's not there. Right. A lot of ladies lose themselves because of the relationship. They want with the guy. Amen. Now most guys, they 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 do that too, but they do it in another way. <laughs> All right. They do it. They do it. 
So I'm gonna talk about the woman right now. I, I, I'm not I'm not excluding the man. I'm just talking about the guy. I'm just saying what I'm saying. When, when women can't get in line where God placed her, and the man that she's with is in charge of her every being, she takes God out of the equation. Amen. 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 And we wonder sometimes why this thing keeps happening to me because God is not in where you are. Significant, significant, significant. When God starts actually doing things in our lives and we can place God, the Bible said that whatever you desire, whatever you desire, I'll give you what you desire. Amen. Right? Yes, if the glory of God is in place in your life, Amen. your desire is in place in your life. Amen. Amen. And we walk under the desire and the glory that God allowed in our life. The significance of it is, I don't, they don't see me, but yet they see the God that is me. Yeah. Amen. Everybody wants to be happy, but nobody wants to serve God. Amen. Amen. Everybody wants to do it right, but nobody wants to give praise to God. Jesus said, who do you say that I am? How do you walk with me? How, how do you allow the glory to, to really gain your life and where you are? Because if you don't put the man in front of me, there's no glory. Amen. I hope this makes sense. Yes, sir. Because, see, we, we miss who we keep talking about in Christ. Because, see, what most people do, they try to make God who they're thinking. Instead of allow God to be who he is. Right. The Bible said God is sovereign. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And so if he's sovereign, God makes the power that's not there. Amen. Amen. God don't make a mistake. He don't have to say, I'm sorry for a mistake because God, because he's sovereign, don't make mistakes. Yeah. Amen. Who do you say that I am? Because we're going to be kingdom and we're going to walk out of, out of church because if, if, the, if the kingdom of God is a community to where we enhance who God is in life, I actually have to put God in a place where he needs to be in me. Amen. I have a lot. I told you the other day, I told you the other day that, that the guy told me, the Lord said to him, he said, love me like you love your wife. Okay. <coughs> There's a whole lot of folks got more love for the person. Amen. We miss fellowship. Amen. There, there are some time, I don't want to be around nobody else. I just want me and God. Amen. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to hear nothing else with me and God. I turn the radio off in my truck. My car. I just went back turn the radio. And I can ride for hours with the radio off. Because I want God to speak to my spirit. Because I don't want nothing else there. How do you see him? How do you really want to walk before God? The reason a lot of people is not loyal to God because they don't see God as Savior and Sovereign King. The reason we can't walk with God in a, in a passage to where I come out when it's raining, I come out when it's sun is down, I come out when it's late, I come out when it's early, I come out when I don't feel good. It's because I'm 
I'm serving or not. I'm, I'm not. But yet, nothing comes out of my mouth that's going to really allow God to be God. I tell people all the time that you shouldn't shame God. You ought to look like God is doing something in your life. And, and you should. You ought to look like God is doing But you ought to talk like God is doing something. You ought to walk like God is doing something in your life. You ought to tell others about the God that's in your life. But if I can't see it the way I need to see it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. A lot of people wonder why you have it. They wonder why I get happy. Amen. I get happy because of what he has done. And then I think about what he will do. Amen. There's a lot of times on his will do. His will. His will can get me stirred up. Then I think about what he will do. Amen. He will. Baby, he will do whatever he does. Whatever my desire of God says, I'm going to do it. I'm shouting about the will to do it. It ain't happening. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talk about my worship is real. I'm not worshiping God on the basis of what already has happened. I'm worshiping God on what we are. Amen. He's a way out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah. He's a light in a dark place. He's a light in a dark room. Yes, he is. He's a mother with nobody else. He's bad. I'm praising him for what will happen. How do I see it? The world will mess you up because what they do is they give you stuff. They let
Yes, yes, you are. People see people with new cars and new clothes and, and nice stuff. They everybody ain't able. Why do you put yourself in that category? Everybody is able. All we need is some access. Amen. Amen. He gave Peter access. He told Peter, he said, flesh and blood they revealed this to you, but my father never did. He said, Peter, I need to change your name. He said, I'm not going to call you Simon Peter. I'm just calling you Peter now. He said, because now I'm going to make you like Cephas, a small stone with a lot of potential. Have God changed your name after you really know who you were serving? Can you see yourself in a different, different way? Can you walk in a, in a different way? Can you? Is God really doing something differently? Can you see any difference in where you are? Because, because I know who he is. Can, can you see stuff that's falling off of you? Can, can, you, can, you see, can you see mannerism changing to where you used to get mad, now you don't get mad as quick? Can, can, you see, can you see where I used to be jealous about this? I'm stuff that's not bothering me. I'm not jealous no more. Can you see where you used to get angry about little small stuff? You don't get it. It don't bother you no more. Can you see where you can look at people in a different way now than where you used to look at them? What can you see where stuff is getting on your nerves and really don't get on your nerves no more? Can you see yourself walking and dressing in a different way? Can you see yourself even putting your hand in a different way? Can you see a new revelation in your life to where you used to have to ask for? What does this mean? What does that mean? But now God has given you a definition in your life. Can you see it? Because God has changed you. Yes, sir. How do you see it? to see him. Amen. How do you really see him? Because see, if your reaction to stuff kills who you are in Christ, that means you really weren't there. Stuff happened to me every day. But Regina, I found out that the stuff can't hurt me like he can. I mean, people come against me all the time. All right. I don't have to retaliate against people because you don't like me. All right, all right, all right. Right. I can't fight everybody, huh? Amen. No. And then you can't dislike anybody. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that all things were made by him and for him. Amen. Amen. And so, because God is sovereign, God allows to happen in your life. He permits it, right? And, and then he can stop some stuff in your life. And so if there's some stuff happening in your life and you believe that you're saved, then God permitted it. But then how do you react to the permitting? Do you say God don't love you because something bad happened to you? No, 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 no. A lot of stuff happened in our lives to make the other person that we got to witness just stronger because somebody had to go through it. Now, therefore, there is no temptation given unto man that I have already endured myself and have given a way of escape. That's what Christ said. And so if we know him as being Savior, Sovereign Lord to us, we walk in the admonition that he put in our lives. Amen. And so when stuff happens to me, I don't respond like the world. The world fights. That's what they know, right? Yes, sir. I tell you, I used to, I used to, yeah. But since you have to learn not to fight everything, okay. right. some things is not your fight. Amen. You have to know how to choose your battle. Amen. Sometimes, let me say this, let me say this, this is sad, but Sometimes we miss our blessing because we don't know how to choose our fights. Amen. Amen. We miss what God has for us because we don't know how to choose. Amen. They disrespected me. Who are you? We disrespect Christ. Son after son. Just church in their own. We're kingdom. 
And because we're a kingdom, we're not just coming here to shout and pay our tithes. No, no, no. We're here to learn who he is in us. Amen. And if I can project, if I can project what he is to you in me, then the, the, the job that I was sent to do is being done. But at the same time, at the same time, whatever's injected in you, you ought to be able to give it to somebody else. If what you're doing is not portrayed Christ, it's too many women, it's too many men want people to tell them how good they look, how good they smell, all this stuff. Amen. Amen. What did God say about it? Because see, sometimes we get sidetracked by trying to be pretty. Yeah, this, this a lady coming to my shop the other day. This lady coming to my shop the other day. She got my shop. Nice. I guess she was nice with me. But she said, Oh, he stopped down the street. Yeah. He stopped down the street. And I said, Did he give you a ticket? She said, No, oh, I guess he thought I was free. <laughs> I said, He thought you were what? I guess he thought I was free. I said, Oh, okay. I said, he didn't, I said What did you do? She's like, come through the red light, where I, you, you know, you yield not. I said, I said, that's all we need to do. Take it here, we need to do it. She come off the Bible right there. You know that little light right there, the Bible? Come on, you just keep going. If nobody's coming, they tell you, you, you don't have to let it stop. Everything you do, why do you think they have a word of why couldn't she say the favor of God was on my life? And the man didn't give me the ticket because of it. Amen. 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 Now, now, we have a crazy man this morning who won't get a ticket out there from the church. He gave somebody a ticket. He gave you a ticket. <laughs> you couldn't talk about it. Maybe you should have blinked your eyes a little more. <laughs> You want to put it?
He allowed us to come through. Why can't I give him what he gave me? And he gave his life to me. He gave his life that I believe. Amen. That's that what he said. He said, he said I thought that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Amen. What he said was, he said, I put something in you to where there's some work in you. People have always told us we didn't have no value. That's why I talk about the woman and the man. The man have always told the woman, you have no value without me. Amen. Amen. I was, I was watching a show, uh, part of a show, uh, last night or yesterday. And, and, the, and the woman asked the other one, why won't you leave? She said, I can't. I've been a man for 53 years. I've told you about that. I'm still wondering why she couldn't leave. But the reason she can't leave you because in her mind, he had put in her mind, you can't do nothing without me. If God made you an individual, God made you an individual that can breathe and understand him. Wow. Amen. Shut up. Amen. You can walk into an area. And what God says, and he said it in David's right, he said, I've been young and now I'm old. All right. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. All right. Never seen big bread. Amen. Yeah, that's what he said. That's what he said. A lot of you are staying in places that God didn't design. He didn't, he didn't design it. He just, he just didn't design it. And a lot of people say, well, you know, if you're married, you got to stay there because the Bible said you death do a part. Maybe he'll kill you. And then you're... We're in a place right now. We're in a place right now. Yes, sir. And if you can see Christ a different way, just a different way. Amen. Just a different way. Stop putting that man way up here. He's putting you way down there. Amen. 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 Yeah, if he can't see value in you, he got to talk to you in a kind of way and call you all out of your name. And then you just accept it because just that's his way. Not all that is his way. That's how you let it be to you. Because if that was his way, he'd do it to everybody else.
my way out of nowhere, God. My life is a dark place, God. I see you, God, when I'm weak, God. You're my strength in a weak time. In the time of time, oh God, you give me strength to keep moving. Oh God, I see you as mother. I see you as father sometimes, God. Amen. 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 Well, to God be the Lord. Amen. See you next Sunday. Have a great week.